Hi there, this is Matt from Panther. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Notion log source for use with Panther and how to enable detections for Notion in just a few minutes. You can reference our documentation for this integration at docs.panther.com at any time. Before getting started, note that in order to set this integration up, you must have access to a Notion user with the workspace owner role. Let's start off in the Panther console. In the left sidebar, navigate to Configure Log Sources. Click Create New. Search for or scroll to Notion and then select its tile. On this preview page, you can see the supported log types as well as available detections for the log source. In the top right corner, click Start Setup. Enter a name for your source. Then select the log types you want Panther to parse. Panther has built-in support for fields from Notion audit logs. In the authentication section below, create a secret key. Copy your secret key value and store it in a secure location. You'll need this later in the setup process. Then click Setup. On the Setup Success page, make note of your webhook URL. You will also need this when you finish setup in Notion. At this point, you also have the option to enable Panther's Notion detections. Click the pack link to review them in the Panther console. Panther has pre-written detections for potentially suspicious behavior like audit log exports, workspace exports, account changes after login, pages being made public, and more. You can review these detections and clone and modify them to suit your preferences at any time. Back in the setup workflow, I'm going to enable the pack. Note that if you use developer workflows to manage your detection suite, your configuration may be affected by enabling this pack. You can also choose to enable an alert when no events are processed by this log source. We recommend leaving this enabled so you can be informed if data stops flowing into Panther from Notion after a set period of time. You can configure the time frame to suit your preferences. Now let's head over to Notion to finish the setup process. In your Notion workspace, navigate to Settings and Members, Connections. Click the Workspace tab. Select the tile for Panther. Then paste in your webhook URL and enter the secret you created. Then click Connect. Back in the Panther console, you can now click the button at the bottom of this page to view your log source in Panther. It may take a few minutes for data to begin ingesting into Panther. Now let's take a look at an example alert fired by a detection we enabled for Notion. To test the Notion Workspace exported detection, I'm going to go into my Notion Workspace and export all of my content. After the logs for this behavior hit Panther, an alert is fired and delivered to configured alert destinations. In this example, an alert for this was sent to my Slackbot alert destination. I can view the alert context, including the summary, runbook, severity, and status. I can then update the assignee and status directly from Slack or within Panther. Reference the documentation for more information on responding to and managing alerts. We have now successfully set up a Notion log source in Panther and enabled detections for it. Thanks for watching.